Your boy man injury to the city with a number two and T. Oh, let's go. So I don't know how many people might view this in the next, I don't know, days, weeks, months. But um, yeah, um, my uh, Instagram that I'm most active on right now is NJ to the city music. Um, as I uh, been posting a lot of stuff on there, ladies and gentlemen. Um, right now, as I'm making this video, I don't have anything pretty much from like you know me and friends. It's just all me and my life and stuff. You know, just me. You know, it's not me and me and a bunch of friends yet. Even though I have a ton of friends, God bless. I'll glory be to God on that. Uh, it's not. It's just me and me myself and I. It's not me and a ton of friends just yet. Um, over this summer, I'm going to be posting a lot of stuff on the ground with me and actual my friends, you know. Um, I'm going to be doing that because I do want people to sh want show everybody out there. I mean, you know, in the most God first one wants to understand way that, hey, you know, like I said, I do have friends. I do do this stuff with my friends. We are cool. We're this. We're that. God first on that. You know, I don't, I'm not trying to prove anything to anybody. I'm just trying to, you know, I know my life and I know my stories trials and tribulations, and I just continuously, whether it's with, you know, people in the picture with me or not, I want to continuously keep showing people that through God first, anything and everything that I got, keep building the organic fan base up like that and seeing what we get with it and the further growth and development of, for the further advancement of all people. Uh, yeah, I think for the further growth of all people and for the further advancement of all people. <laughs> I mean, either one, they're both my lingos pretty much. But, um, yeah, my 20... 19 NFL quarterback mock draft part two. That's what this is pretty much by NJ to the city. Um, I wanted to give every single quarterback. Cause I just looked it up before I made this. I started making the first video. I just look, look, looked it up. Sorry, my stuttering. I looked it up and uh, I can rest assure you here. I want to give every quarterback a home, even if they're not getting drafted because half these guys are not getting drafted. I can rest assure you that. Um, but um, I want to try to give every single quarterback a home. So this is my 2019 quarterback NFL mock draft part two. Uh, AZ Cardinals, of course, we believe, everybody believes for the most part, Kyler Murray is going number one. God bless Nick Bosa, but I can rest assure you Nick Bosa is not going to change your life in Arizona. So Arizona really, really should think about, you know, drafting Kyler Murray because Kyler, a guy like Kyler Murray, he will change life in Arizona. I'm telling you, Nick Bosa will not. Why? Because defensive players usually don't change life in a city. And I mean, change life obviously on the field, that is. They obviously don't change, you know, perception of, of certain things. I think so. That's just my opinion. You don't have to agree with it, et cetera. It's just the fact being, for example, we went back to 2010, 11, whatever draft that was, when um, instead of taking Tim Tebow, they took um, uh, the Jaguars, take, took, um, what's his name, uh, Paul Puzlesny, supposedly. He was great, but did he change life in Jacksonville? I don't think so. That's just my opinion. Nobody has to agree with it. Um, but again, Tebow went on to do some great things in Denver, and God bless his soul. I really do hope and wish that somewhere down the line, whether it's XFL, NFL, I don't care. I just want to see the man back on an actual football field um, in an organized game playing tackle, not touch, or not really touch. Yeah, two-hand touch, really. <laughs> but yeah, I want to see him out there back on an actual football field, organized game playing some actual you know, tackle football for somebody. Like, God bless his soul, but I don't know why he didn't, like, well, actually, I, I know why. I read the report on why he, he turned down the um, uh, a a AAF, you know, deal, because it's like, he wanted to see, like, now nah, I'm focused, I'm going to focus on baseball now. I, I'm i like, one one more step up to the majors, you know, why, why you know, everything I've been working for, this, you know, I, I get it. I get it, but at the same time, Tebow, uh, Tim, it, hopefully you view this video one day, bro. I'm telling you, because I'll never forget um, seeing you um, slash meeting you to an extent. Uh, not fully meeting you, but, you know, shaking your hand, taking a picture with you. I'll never forget that. I think I took a picture with you. I think I did. Um, two or three years ago, if I'm not mistaken, at your TPC Golf Classic. Yeah. God bless your soul. Um, God bless me, too. <laughs> but um, I'm telling you this, bro. I, I, I'm telling you. No NFL teams are calling you. Please note that. No NFL teams are calling you. And I'm telling you, that's why half of them stink every year. Because they're not willing to give you another chance. When you're better than half the scrubs they got on their team, at quarterback that is. You're better than Blaine Gabbert, but for some stupid reason, people keep trying to give him opportunities. I don't get it, but they still keep giving him opportunities. I don't understand how Blaine Gabbert's been in the league all these years and he still can't read a defense. Somebody tell me how Blaine Gabbert's been in the league all these years and he still cannot read an NFL defense. Somebody needs to understand. Explain that to me. How Blaine Gabbert's been in the league all these years and he still cannot read a defense. Somebody needs to explain that to me. 
But not just him. There's a lot of the I think scrubs out there that they just, they 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 need to be out of the league as a quarterback. That is out of the league as a quarterback. Go into coaching. Go be a GM. I don't do do something like that. Work in somebody or organization with an, another job. Just stop taking the quarterback jobs from people who I'm telling you have real talent that deserve to be in there. And guys like and I'm not fully trying to discriminate any person anybody. I'm just saying that this is a, like I say. This long list, half these guys won't even get drafted, but I'm telling you, I would love to see them in these NFL uniforms sooner rather than later. And what that means is, ladies and gentlemen, when you examine this league, quote it, examine this league, ladies and gentlemen, why are these guys trying to play into their, like, 40s? Into their 40s? Tom Brady is an exception. He's winning almost every year, pretty much. And not really almost, every year. He's winning every year, but he's not winning the Super Bowl every year. But you get the point. He's winning! You get the point. And I'm just saying, it's just a fact being like, I'm thinking to myself, Drew Brees had a great year. But do I wish he would retire? Yes, I do. Why? Because I want my young guys to come in here and throw blaze. I think out of all the teams in the league, we have at least five, if not more, teams that I'm telling you this. The, their veteran quarterback should have retired already. And they should have like three or four, if not more quarterbacks, you know, young quarterbacks every single year competing for the starter job. But instead, you got these young guys coming in here trying to compete for backup jobs because these, I hate to say it, old guys won't get out of the way. And, you know, and I, I'm not trying to disrespect any veteran, even though I halfway did just saying old guys. <laughs> but you get the point. I hope you all get the point. The point is I love my young brothers and I want my young brothers to get their opportunities. But their opportunities are being taken and robbed and snapped from them to, an, you, you could say, to an extent. Because these old guys or the veterans or whatever you want to say will not get out of the league. And they need to. I think a lot of them need to. Phillip Rivers, when the last time he even went to the AFC Championship, why is he still in the league? Someone tell me that. Oh, he had a 20-something, you know, to 6 touchdown to seven seven radio. Good job, but when the last time you went to the AFC Championship? You've been in the league. How long? You ain't won one Super Bowl yet? One Super Bowl? And Rodgers won one. Ben Roethlisberger, I believe, won one or two. I mean, come on, man. Come on. That's just my opinion. My opinion is that I love my young brother so much. I really want all. I really want. I'm, I've, I've been studying this, guys. I've been studying it for the last, like, two, three, four, five, six years. I've been studying it. These quarterbacks, that I'm telling you, they need to be in the NFL right now. Now they got to wait next year for the XFL to start up and see how that goes. That's what they gotta wait for now. But I, I swear, I'm, I'm redoing the, doing the research. These guys, my young NFL bros, y'all, y'all, y'all deserve it. Y'all, y'all need it. Y'all need, y'all need these spots. If not in the XFL, y'all need it in the NFL. But only way you're gonna get it is if the veterans, some of these, some of these veterans, hang up the cleats. Go be a coach. Go be a general manager. Something. But please stop taking the jobs from my young quarterbacks. That's my number one point there. Please stop taking. The opportunities for my young quarterbacks. <sighs> wow, eight minutes. <laughs> Hope this has been entertaining enough for you, huh? Honestly, I mean, I'm not always like this in my videos, but at the same time, I kind of like when I am. Give, give, give you some type of excitement rather than just me like he's going here, he's going there. Give you some type of more excitement. I mean, I'm a character for the most part. God, first one wants to understand shame on that. I'm a character for the most part. You know, I got my wacky side, my goofy side, my cool and chill, my lay back. I'm a character. But I'm just saying, ladies and gentlemen, I study, I've been studying this league for quite some time, and I'm telling you there's a lot of my young quarterbacks that are getting robbed of opportunities, developmental opportunities, because these um, veterans, are, they won't retire. Tom Brady, I feel like, you know, he's an exception. He's continuously winning. But guys like Phillip Rivers, he should have hung hung it up. Uh, um, uh, what's his name? Should hung it. Uh, um, Phillip Rivers should have hung it up. I want to say Andy Dalton should 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 re retire and be like, why Andy Dalton? Because he can't get past the first round of the playoffs, and the Bengals are wasting their time on him. I don't believe getting a new coach is gonna help him. I I don't believe getting a new. I really don't. I mean, like you know, you had Marvin Lewis for the longest time, but then you also had. Um, some great offensive coordinators that came in there, and the, and the man still, and you're still not getting past the first round. I don't believe a new head coach hitting it. Sorry, I don't believe a new head coach is going to change that. I honestly don't believe it will. But if you think it will, then it will. Or if you think it will, then let's see is a better way of saying it. I believe Andy Dalton. If not, I'm not going to say he should go ahead and just retire. But actually, but actually, I don't know what 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 he should do. I just know that 
He, 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 I, my best opinion. And if any of these quarterbacks see this one day, I'm just saying. Andy Dalton, you haven't made it past the first round of the playoffs. You've been in the league how long? Any guy or any of these quarterbacks that I'm naming, you know, they can make good regular season numbers, but they can't do crap in the postseason. And that's the number one problem that I have with a lot of these quarterbacks. Andy Dalton can't do crap in the postseason. Phillip Rivers can either barely make it to the postseason or he's not doing crap in the postseason when it comes to, like, you know, again, when, when, when's the last AFC Championship he went to? Forgive me if I, you know, if, if it's been recent, but I just don't know. But I'm pretty sure he hasn't been to the AFC Championship in years. You know, but yet, Chargers are still hanging on to him. Why? I don't get it. But that's just me. Um, and there's, there's a lot of quarterbacks that I'm telling you. I do believe that, you know, they should hang it up. I can't name them, name them all, but there's quite a few that need to just hang it up by now. You know, because I'm telling you, you're taking the jobs from my young quarterbacks, and I don't like that. I do not like that. Okay, I want I want the XFL to be successful since the AAF, you know, folded. You know, well, actually, well, well, Atlanta was a pretty good team, but you get the point. I really want my young quarterbacks to have some place to play. I'm tired of this. Next year, two years, three years, my young quarterback needs some place to play. I'm telling you, at least five teams, if not more, should have. Three, four, five young quarterbacks each and every year up in there. I'm saying if some of these veteran quarterbacks were retiring like they were supposed to be retiring, I'm telling you, five or more, you know, um, five or more NFL teams should have young quarterbacks each and every year in their building competing for a starter and backups. But that's not happening. All, all most of them are competing for is backup jobs at this point, you know. Depending on which round you were right, you were you you were drafted in. If you weren't drafted in the first round, you're most likely competing for a backup job right right now, you know, or something like that. So let's go into it. My 2019 NFL mock draft part two, because this is 12 minutes into this, and I spent more time ranting than I actually did showing telling you what, what, what I think should go. Uh, Az Cardinals, Kyler Murray. Again, we all believe that Kyler Murray is going there. Um, and, and I'm just saying, Nick Bosa, he can do some things, but I just don't believe he's going to change the whole culture there whatsoever. If they can get both, they should get both, but they probably won't. Get Kyle and Murray and trade my boy Josh Rosen to the Jaguars. Jaguars, pick up the phone. I mean, God bless Cody Kessler, but I want Josh Rosen as Nick Foles backup. But that's just me. That's just me. Or the Patriots go pick him up. I mean, it's either going to be the Patriots or it's going to be the Jaguars, I think, for the teams that I really, really want Josh Rosen to go to. Second one, Miami Dolphins, Drew Locke. I don't know why, but I just got that fishy feeling. Just like I had with Josh Rosen last year, he would look really good in a Jets uniform. And I really think Drew Locke would look really good in a Miami Dolphins uniform. And with that being said, I just feel like, you know, they already said they was going to try to tank this season to try to get Tua Tonga by low in the draft next year. But I think they're better off trying to just go ahead and, you know, and starting with a guy like Drew Locke now rather than waiting because Tua might not even come out next year. Well, like, can he come out? I don't really know. I think he's a junior this year, isn't he? Yeah, he's a, yeah, he, yeah, Tua was a junior this year. J, Jalen's a senior. Okay, just checking. Hmm. But, um, yeah, uh, Miami Dolphins, I do believe they should just go ahead and go and get, get Drew Locke now. Don't wait for Tua next year. Get a, get, get Drew Locke now. And I bet you, I bet, I bet, I'm saying, when I look at Drew Locke, I look at another Patrick Mahomes. I swear he has all, he has all the same arm talent. You just got to give him, give him his chance. And he's going to light people up. Um, Oakland Raiders. I don't think almost anybody believes that um, John, John Gruden might not draft a, qu a quarterback. I believe he definitely, well, actually, I don't know what, what he's going to do. But I can tell you if one of these guys, actually not one of you guys, if Dwayne Haskins falls to him, he's going to draft a quarterback. And Dwayne Haskins is who I have going to the Oakland Raiders. I'm telling you, if, if, I'm telling you, if, if Giants don't, don't trade up, I am telling you Dwayne Haskins is going to Oakland Raiders. I just have the, 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 you get the gut and bone feeling. You know, he's going there. He, he, he would look good in the silver and black. More videos coming soon. God bless.